Unlike chemical rockets, which burn fuel quickly and inefficiently, fusion propulsion could provide sustained thrust using reactions similar to those in the sun. Projects like Project Daedalus and Project Longshot have proposed using fusion engines to reach nearby star systems within a human lifetime. While we haven't yet mastered controlled fusion on Earth, rapid advances are being made, and fusion-powered starships may be within reach by the next century. But even if we solve propulsion, we face another daunting challenge. Time. Space is vast, and even our closest neighbors are unimaginably far. This raises the idea of generation ships, massive vessels where multiple generations of humans live and die during the journey. These ships would be entire ecosystems, self-sustaining and carefully balanced. The people who arrive at the destination would be the descendants of those who first launched the mission. Alternatively, we could explore the idea of suspended animation, placing astronauts into a deep sleep to minimize life support needs during the voyage. While still theoretical, advances in medical science and cryobiology are making this concept more plausible than ever. Of course, before we send people, we'll send machines. Autonomous AI-powered probes could map exoplanets, analyze atmospheres, and even build infrastructure long before humans arrive. These robotic scouts could prepare distant worlds for colonization or send back data to help us decide where and whether we should go. Which brings us to the ultimate question. Why go at all? Why risk so much to leave the solar system? Part of the answer lies in survival. Our planet, while beautiful and life-giving, is vulnerable to natural disasters, cosmic events, and even human mistakes. By spreading out to the cosmos, we reduce the risk of extinction. In a way, becoming an interstellar species is the ultimate backup plan. But there's also something deeper, an innate drive to explore, to go beyond, to reach for the unknown, not because it's easy, but because it defines who we are.